Hey Bob, it's me today. We're gonna be talking about something that isn't talked about much anymore, which is basically the copyright claims on the emotes in Fortnite. I know what you're saying, why are you bringing this up? No one's really talking about it. Well, I wanted to uh, wait a couple days for the whole story to come out. Now, the reason why I actually wanted to make this uh, video is because my, my favorite emote, the Orange Justice, a boy orange shirt kid, his mother is, you know, is basically saying, hey, I want that copyright. Nope, can't have, don't, can't have that in the game. Nope, copyright that. We want, we want the money. Well, <laughs> that's what pushed me to get this video out or to make this video because I really don't like how they're just cop like everyone's just going on this bandwagon and just copying emotes or trying to be lawsuits against Epic Games, which I think is pretty BS. Cause why? What's the point? The, 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 the majority claims don't even work for the orange shirt kid. For the orange justice, he submitted that in the boogie contest. The I don't think mother did, said anything in the lawsuit with, with the article I read. Nothing about the um. The, uh, the, the Boogie Down contest, which he was appeared in, I think. Leo came, like, there's a contract thing or whatever, right, which, if you apply, your moat can be used at any time. Or, if it's, if it's in there, you can't be copyrighted, because you did it for Epic Games, so it doesn't matter, so. That claims that one, though, also another one, the Floss set. People did Floss back in 2011, I don't think, just because the backpack kid's trying to copyright doesn't mean it's gonna get the money off of it, it's not, it's not gonna matter, so. Basically, I don't like copyright. I don't like how they're basically saying we you can't have the dance anymore. We're trying to remove it. I don't like it. I don't like copyright. It brings on the whole argument. Can you copyright dance? No. You can copyright the name of the dance, but you can't copyright the moves of the dance. In my opinion. I mean, I could be wrong. It's just my silly opinion. You really have different opinions that make much more sense than mine. Because I used to ramble on about stupid stuff like this. But you don't even know what I'm making. But, uh... I don't like copyright. I really don't. Um, copyright to me is just an unfair thing. Like it just it, it, it restrains the user what to do. Cause one thing I like about Epic Games or Fortnite is that they they love just using emotes from different movies, shows. I love that. It cause it shows that they're just pulling things out of a random location and bringing it all together, which I love. Which if they're taking out away. That's gonna stumble their creativity. And that's not gonna be fun then. And it's like, well, your emotes in the game. Why are you crying about it? Who cares? I understand you want to get money, but you realize the dance isn't yours. I guess I don't know. Well, I don't even know what's going with that, honestly. <laughs> it also kind of goes into like YouTube as well, but the whole copyright stuff. Cause honestly, I caught YouTube. Oh my god. 20, 2017, 20, like 2017 was the year that I found out that you can't do anything on YouTube. God, God forbid I, I play a, a second clip of a Star Wars movie. I swear, uh, God forbid that. Or even any music. God forbid a second of that gets onto my videos. God forbid the whole video gets taken down. It's like, copyright for the channel. God damn Disney. That's why I hate Disney. A little bit of this. I love parts of Disney. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't hate all of Disney. You, have, you can only, you can't, you can only hate part, parts of it. D Disney similarly is going to control the world. United States, United States of Disney is going to happen, 2050. <laughs> Bet me on that. <laughs> but copyright, I hate copyright so much. That's why you know, you, you, like, I don't like copyright because it, it strains the, the owner what to do, especially on YouTube. You know, it's just, it's just crazy. Like this whole Star Wars thing, I can I can't make a video about Star Wars, but in the, like, I can't have background footage of Star Wars and new new movies, but other YouTubers can. We are questioning why, how, nothing in the description. I have something in my description saying if there's any copyright claims, copyright images, contact us and we'll take it. We'll take care of it. But nope, no, 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 no. Copyright the video and take it down. That's that's the real thing. No, 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 no. Which, you know, it's foul of copyright. It's just silly and it, it just it shouldn't be. Whatever. Back back to the whole emote the Fortnite. You no, know, I'm getting off topic. Fortnite really shouldn't listen to their claims. They really shouldn't. Just add whatever you want in the game. But why don't you make a deal with them first, Epic Games? Let's just compromise. Why don't you, Epic Games, as a company, say, hey, alright, we want this emote. Why don't we go with the person who created the emote, if there is a creator, but some dances aren't created, like the Macarena, um, which I don't know. 
or the moonwalk you know which i don't know if michael jackson created i don't know i don't know dance history so i don't know but if the creator is still alive or if the creator is not known then just use the emote out of respect or if the emote is not what you say like if the person who created it is alive go to them and ask hey can we use your dance in our game. That's very simple, because a lot of the emotes that a lot of people are copying are trying to get lost to solve dance is very similar, like the default dance. Very similar to the one that was used in TV Show, I forget what TV Show. The, um, Fresh Out, you know, Gone Fresh Prince or whatever, he, that is very similar. Well, why don't you ask them? And they say, yeah, sure, I mean, of course that was back, those two emotes were used back in 2017 when Fortnite wasn't that big. Now that Fortnite is a big phenomenal thing, they should do that, because any new emote is going to be put in the game. If it's from a movie or TV show or from a music video, people are gonna take notice and actually gonna contact the original person who used it. Say, hey, they're gonna they're using your moat. What are you gonna do about it? And that's gonna lead to a lot more co like lawsuits if they don't uh, do something about that. Cause that's what I think. Go to the original person who made the dance, ask them, then put it in. If they say it's okay, you can get a 50 50 profit. Cause Epic Games has a crap ton of money. Of those mighty, greedy, greasy, good V Bucks that all those little kids are buying, they got hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars. I'm pretty sure they can split profits. Don't they have like new like game engine or whatever? Ever that they have like other games on which you just like they're giving like they're giving more money out to the people to put the games on their site. Whatever I don't know. I don't keep up with Epic Games stuff. I keep up with Fortnite stuff, not Epic Games launcher or whatever stuff they have. I don't know. But, look, um, other good news, practicing building in Fortnite, that's why if you look in the gameplay background, kind of doing those stair wall builds and getting those nice good headshots, off topic, but you know, you just want to say that, because I'm wrap wrapping up the video, that's why I said that, <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, I have no idea what to do with this video, I just wanted this video to talk about it, it's been on my mind, so, um, Guys, I've enjoyed this video. I want to hit that like button and subscribe. Support the channel. I'll be doing that. Help me out a lot. Um, I'm gonna go now. So bye.